There are a lot of reasons for choosing Cotton USA. One is that U.S. cotton is grown from East Coast to West Coast so that we have uh, a wide variety of cotton characteristics that we offer to the processors of cotton. Beyond that, we have more information provided about our cotton than any other uh, cotton around the world. Uh, we have the best reliability in terms of making sure that when we uh, commit with contracts to export cotton that the, uh, those contracts are upheld. We provide uh, more information about the fiber in our bales of cotton than any other country in the world and with that information about each bale of cotton the spinner can have exactly the lay down that they need and that means that they can put together an arrangement of bales of cotton to be able to blend that and produce exactly the quality of yarn that is needed for any given product. As some examples of our Cotton USA licensees in Italy, we have uh, Bassetti and Zucchi and NK Home in terms of the, uh, the home furnishings. Uh, we also have Original Marines, which is a very important partner for us uh, in the apparel side and uh, they just expanded that Cotton USA licensing to uh, another uh, collection, the uh, summer collection. And uh, so we're very pleased to be uh, continuing to work with Original Marines and, and expand our uh, work with them. We're also looking at other licensees uh, that meet our quality and uh, uh, sourcing requirements. The consumer is always looking for innovations and actually the brand and retailer as well because they want to have new and uh, interesting products for the consumer. So some of the things that Cotton is doing, for example, is uh, one of those is moisture management because Cotton is a fiber that, is, uh, that absorbs moisture very well. It takes moisture away from the body. But what cotton doesn't do as well is release that moisture into the environment. So the moisture management technology is to allow cotton to do its natural work, which is take the moisture away from the body, but then release it very well into the environment. So for athletic wear, that it is uh, very competitive with uh, synthetic fibers. Another one is, for instance, uh, what we call uh, weather resistant characteristics so that you can have a water resistant uh, denim and uh, you can actually pour water right onto it or walk in the rain and that, that moisture does not penetrate. So you can be perfectly dry walking out on a, a rainy day. We have uh, just launched a new advertising campaign for Cotton USA and that campaign is in uh, both the, the print media as well as the web-based media. Uh, the focus of that is, continues to be the naturalness of cotton. So we're really focused on the natural aspect at a time when consumers are looking to nature, they're looking to the environment, and uh, this is a product that is uh, you know, natural, renewable, biodegradable. Sure. Countries where we're uh, running these campaigns are in Europe, uh, the UK, Italy, and Germany. Uh, elsewhere in the world we have similar campaigns but not using uh, exactly the same uh, imagery as we are here in Europe because the European consumer is, uh, is quite sophisticated and you know, we need a particular image to appeal to that consumer. The consumer here in Italy is very um, much looking at both uh, the front edges of fashion as well as of uh, quality image and quality reality. So, we need to make sure that that's the image that we're projecting uh, here in Europe in general and Italy in uh, particular. Cotton prices right now are of particular interest all the way through the supply chain and uh, the prices for the fiber are more than double what they were uh, just a year ago. Uh, they're actually at record levels uh, at this point. We feel that uh, this is probably a long-term change in terms of cotton because all commodities, whether it's metals or energy or even food commodities, have gotten more expensive. And so cotton is competing for production with some of those food items. And uh, so it takes a higher price to be able to continue to produce as much cotton as we did before.
it's never easy to price cotton, but we do have uh, mechanisms that can help in that. Uh, and that's why there is a New York futures market, it's called the uh, ICE futures, uh, that prices cotton and other commodities. And uh, if you were last year at this time trying to uh, price cotton for future use, you could have bought cotton at, say, 65 cents or less. If you are looking at the futures right now, the nearby futures, for instance, for the May contract, are above $2. The futures for December 2011 are well below that, at somewhere around uh, 125 You see that a lot of the 2011 crop, which is not even in the ground yet, has already been sold, much more so than in previous years because a lot of buyers are worried that uh, that there are, uh, if there were problems, that prices could go up for those futures uh, markets. Cotton uh, had been undervalued for a number of years, I'd say particularly the last three to four years, because other commodities, corn and soybeans and wheat, had gone up very strongly. But if you look at the charts for cotton, it had remained pretty much flat for the past five years. So all of a sudden, cotton had to play catch-up because its price had to come up significantly to be able to compete with those other crops. And that's why uh, cotton prices have so much attention right now because they ran up so fast, but in a lot of ways they were really only playing catch-up to what other commodities and metals and energy had done over a period of a few years.